Hello, I'm Mountain Singh from 17456 Atlantis, and this is our Control Award video. For traversing the field during Autonomous, our robot implements complex path generation and following through the use of the library Roadrunner. This allows the robot to follow curved paths to eliminate time otherwise used to turn in place, as you can see in the video being shown right now. Instead, the heading interpolation is incorporated into the path itself. This is our Autonomous path for the ring stack case where there are zero rings on the field. Our robot moves up to its shooting position and shoots three rings into the high goal extremely quickly. The robot then drops the wobble goals in the correct zone. When it goes to grab the second wobble goal, you can see it performs a correctional maneuver that will align to the wobble goal using the very large wobble goal claw in the case that the robot's position is off. Finally, the robot navigates onto the parking line. Throughout this entire autonomous, the robot did not turn in place once thanks to Roadrunner. To accurately follow the paths, our robot is equipped with three odometry pods that track the location of the robot without slippage. The goal of our teleop code is to make it as easy as possible to drive the robot. Our most useful teleop enhancement is our one button shooting sequence. When the driver presses the X button, the program revs up the flywheel, aligns to the high goal, waits for the flywheel to reach its desired velocity, and rotate the spin dexter wheel to transfer all three rings into the shooter. Our shooter is able to fire rings incredibly fast thanks to our velocity PID error correction loop. Using three tuned PID variables, the program optimizes the time taken to re recover its original velocity after a ring comes in contact with the wheel. To detect the height of the ring stack during initialization, we've created an open CV based pipeline that draws masks over the spaces where each ring should be and then evaluates the height based on how many of the masks return the desired color value. The masks make it so that the phone's camera only focuses on a certain area where the ring stack is expected to be, so nothing in the background can throw it off and cause to inconsistency during detection.